vlog number 48 um, and today I kind of want to talk about bebop um, so I thought the most useful um, thing to talk about would be bebop scales so basically the concept of, of bebop scales is to not think about two in a two five one progression and just kind of look at the dominant right so we're kind of zooming out we think about the tension and release and we're looking at the tension, we're looking at the five, the dominant chord. And then the idea of the boop scale is basically to hit as many chord tones as possible uh, and while adding some chromatic notes for that dominant scale. So the first thing basically is we're playing, I'll play, let's play a two five, two five one to B flat major, so that's C minor seven, so that's C minor seven. So we're really gonna think about the F seven. So Basically, again, it's dominant scale, right? So it's F7. Um, so that's the scale just going down, right? F, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, G, and F. And then what's happening with B scale, we're gonna add a chromatic note. So, so the first chromatic note that we'll add is between the one and the seven. So we have basically, and again, the idea is to articulate the dominant scale, the dominant chord, the chord itself. So, the the downbeats of the the stronger beat, which is one, two, three, and four, right, on the downbeat again, not the end, just the downbeat, will be on a chord tone. So that in that way, if we are adding that note here, so we're getting one and two and three and four and one, right? Again, so we have. F, E, E flat, which is the seventh of F7, and C, which is the fifth, and third, and one of the F, and this is, you know, the um, F is the fifth of B flat. So in that sense, we're always hitting chord tones. So it's kind of systematic and it's very simple, but again, it's a very um, um, beautiful thing, and the person who really developed that, that's Barry Harris, um, and it, again, he taught people like Paul Chambers how to play jazz, um, again, he's, he's, you know, still teaching and playing music, and he's just incredible, and uh, you should definitely check his stuff out, so this is just like, again, just the basic, basic concept of the bebop scales, and I would encourage you to go and, and dig in more, but this is the basic concept, and you can get a lot from that and, and start exploring. So. The first thing again, if we're starting from the one, we're adding one chromatic note between the one and the seven. So that would be one and two and three and four and one. If we're starting from the two, the two means the two of F7, F dominant seven, so that, that note would be G. So we'll have two options. First option is no chromatic notes, and the second option is two chromatic notes. Again, the, the, the reason is that we try to hit as many chord tones off the F7 and to articulate that chord. So when we're playing the scale, when we're playing the phrase, we can really hear the changes, really articulate um, the, the chords. So if we're starting from the two, so it would be one and two and three and four and one, right? So again, basically just playing F7 down and down. Second option would be adding two chromatic notes. And again, the reason is we're trying to hit the chord tones. And then here we'll do from the two, but we'll add between two and one, and then again between the one and the seven. So we'll have G, G flat, F, F flat, or that's E, E flat, then there's the scale. So Um, on A, right, which is the major seven, or we can we can also go down more if you want. Just you know, down the scale, it's fine. That and we can of course um, you know play all these cliche phrases. I mean, you know, beautiful, but in the sense of like a part of the language and the tradition, you know, all these ideas and and things. So we can always extend it. And again, this is the basic concept. Um, if we're starting from the three. We have two options. We can start. From the three and have one chromatic note and again like you see the chromatic note would be between the one and the seven so that sounds like that right one and two and three and four and one right going 
do the major seven, or we can have um, two chromatic notes. So these two chromatic notes would be between the three and the two, and between the one and the seven, and the two and one. Sorry. So again, three and two, two and one, one and seven. That would sound like this. kind of go down the scale and finish this like but you, again a lot of options so one and two and three and four and one you can finish on the six one. you can go down a little bit more on the scale and, and you know finish in a different place i mean again and rhythmically of course we can start in different places um like starting the phrase from a different note i mean there that it, it's there's a lot of there are a lot of options but we'll we'll get to that maybe later um so again from the three this is a phrase that is being used a lot of times i mean um i feel like like kind of playing fast lines like starting from the three that's a kind of thing uh like cannonball and coltrane are doing that kind of a lot um uh, maybe two octaves as well but again um From the four, we can have zero chromatic notes or um, two. So that means from the four of F, that's B flat. So that means we're just playing the scale down, right? One and two and three and four and one. We can end here again. We can go play a little bit longer if you want. Um, and then if we're adding chromatic notes, the chromatic notes from the four would be between the two and one and between the one and seven. So that sounds like that. One and two and three and four and one. And again, we can do, we can do, sorry, we can do a. Right, we can extend the phrase a little bit if we want. But the basic idea, if we start from the four, is to have zero chromatic or two chromatic. Okay, from the five, one chromatic or three. So one would be just between the one and seven, and three would be between the three and um, and two, two and one, one and seven. So six, we have zero or two, and you see the systematic thing is usually zero. I mean, always zero or two, one or three. So zero would be again if we start from from the six, we'll have zero so that's just the scale down or um two mm -hmm. so and again if i'm counting we can say one and two and three and four and one right or we can do one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one for example right just going down the scale a little bit more um, from the seven, we can do one chromatic note or three. One chromatic note would be between the one and the seven, so that sounds like that. So I'm counting the time, so it'll be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Right? If I want to do two octaves, again, I can do it shorter. And three chromatic notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Right, so that's two octaves. That depends on how long we have or how quickly we're playing. If we're playing eight notes or sixty notes, um, and again from the one, so that's just uh, one or two octaves. So, and from the one, we can do again one chromatic or three. So this was one chromatic, just two octaves. Right? Again, just one chromatic between the one and the seven. And then if I want to have three chromatic notes, that will be between the one and the seven, between the three and the two, two and one, and one and seven. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Right? So this is the first kind of step. So Basically, I would practice it, try to find some fingerings, you know, I was, like you see, I was trying to stay completely in this position, and you can do, like, kind of thinking about F from the fifth string, so, and then you can do the same 
um, process from different strings. So you can say, okay, I'm gonna look at C7, right? And say, okay, let me do the same thing, so. Right, and so on and so forth. And then, of course, cycle of fourth, you know, through the keys, playing with the metronome, making sure it's kind of clear, um, making sure we're hearing it. And again, that process of playing something and singing it, just singing it, just playing it, and, and you know, kind of uh, getting accustomed to that chromatic sound. Um, and then what oftentimes the, the first next step to, to that process would be